Hello guys, this is Jesper Nissen from Yax, and in this video I will show you how to generate an AI-powered website with Yax. Alright, once you are logged in, you click on the Generate AI Website button up here in the top. And then you will see the uh, nine steps that you can go through in order to generate the AI website. What I will be focusing on now in this video is the AI content and the AI images. <clears throat> so um, first I choose the templates and I don't change anything. I could change the background color a little bit to this guy, this color here. <clears throat> Build settings, I will call it, I will use link build with spokes. That's the better choice for the interlinking. And I will call this Atlanta tree service because this will be the keyword that I will be targeting. This keyword will be Atlanta tree service. And uh, I won't do anything else here. I think I'll just add some interlinking to all pages actually <clears throat> because I think that it looks looks cool and it adds better interlinking. So I'll just set the limit to three. <coughs> so on each page there will be three links to each of the other pages and it will be random and it will be based on the meta title. So the AI content, I will uh, make sure that I select this option up here <clears throat> because then the homepage file name will be called index.html and I will select this because if you are uploading your AI website to an actual domain, many hosts and many browsers expect the homepage to be called index.html. So I'll just use this option up here. Now I will need to select the language and we support a series of languages and uh, by default it's set to English of course but if you are from the, Netherl the Netherlands you can choose Dutch if you're from Denmark you can choose Danish or Dansk uh, like me that's what I choose or you can just let it stay here at English United States for example <clears throat> So in the, the headlines, what you will do is that uh, first you'll, you'll actually scroll down so you can see actually that the AI generates two types of pages. So it generates content pages or service pages and then that it generates news pages or, or blog you know, articles, blog posts. And uh, the reason that we have done this is because an actual website normally has both, you know, service pages and then it has news pages a blog section um, so you can uh, choose to enter your meta titles yourself Atlanta tree service or you can choose to let the AI define your headlines and what I will do is I will actually just delete this guy here and I will actually just let the AI Determine for me the Atlantic Tree Service, and I will create. I'll create six service pages and uh, six blog posts. So, so the number here is uh, defining how many <coughs> headlines it will create down here in this box, and this number is how many headlines it will create down here in this box. So I will click generate. What the AI does now <coughs> is that the AI now generates the uh, meta titles, the six meta titles for the service pages, six meta titles for the news pages. And you can see what it's uh, suggesting is what's the best Atlanta tree service, blah, 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 and uh, meta titles, how to enjoy professional pruning, blah, 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 blah. And what I will actually be doing here is that I will be using my common sense here. Uh, I will actually delete this because uh, Atlanta Tree Service is a good title for a service page. What's the most affordable Atlanta Tree Service is not a good title, but uh, affordable tree Atlanta Tree Service is a good title for a service page. When it comes to blog posts or articles, 
you can use you know shorter or oh, sorry longer titles is a good thing for blog posts but for service pages I would probably have something like this Atlanta Atlanta tree removal Atlanta Atlanta stump removal Atlanta stump grinding I think that's what it's called uh, Atlanta gardening Atlanta gardening I know if you're a gardener you want to attend to your garden I think you're doing some gardening okay so Atlanta tree service affordable Atlanta tree service Atlanta tree removal Atlanta stump removal stump grinding and Atlanta gardening so these are the six meta titles that I will be using for my service pages and I won't change anything it seems cool so all right um, yeah okay so the next thing is uh, the next step is now we have six meta titles up here six meta titles down here so now you need to determine what the uh, content model you will be using do you want to have article production that's around about 2,000 words per page or do you want mass content production that's only one prompt so it will be around 300 words so I would like uh, long form content production for all the pages because it gives the best results it's also a little bit more expensive obviously but I mean still it's it's not expensive per se it's just we use Obviously, we use more tokens when we are generating a 2,000 word article than when it is a 300 word article. So I'm, it's up to you. You have the option, super duper cheap, uh, not so super duper cheap. So um, I would like to include the news widget. What the news widget does is that it places on the home page a, it places a, um, yeah, it places you know shortcuts to the articles and it, it looks for me it looks cool so I, I like that so I will also I will place it both on the home page and the sub page because I like it and I will see I want four uh, four articles on both the home page and sub pages you know shortcuts to four articles so I think actually I'm done now English index I have the meta titles the meta titles and to be absolutely clear what determines the number of pages built is the number of meta titles down here this number is only used when you're generating block titles but it's the amount of meta titles down here that will determine how many service pages that you are generating in your AI website so let me go to image um, Atlanta tree service. Uh, I'll have, uh, let me say, six images. So what the AI is doing now is that it's generating six images related to this keyword, and the keyword is Atlanta tree service. <coughs> so you can determine if you like them or if you do not like them. I mean, it looks like tree service images to me. So I'm just clicking this blue button here on all the images, and then they are converted to JPEG and they are added to the website. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I have six different images. That's fine by me. I don't touch anything down here. <coughs> so image SEO is applied to all images. So they are all optimized. You don't need to do anything. I could also insert company information, but since this is a test website, I will not be doing that because it's, it takes too long. So what I'm presenting or what I'm uh, explaining to you is how to create an AI website, not how to insert company information. It's it's identical in the other types of websites builder we have, so uh, I won't be talking about that here. So I'm actually done now. I could insert a YouTube video, which might be a good idea. You know, let me just do it just, just for fun. Atlanta. Tree service. Uh, huh. So what I could do here, I could take one of these. 
uh, yellow pages. I don't know what this is. Uh, welcome to the something something featured advertisers YouTube channel. I have no idea what this is. Yellow pages. No, but we won't advertise for another guy. I don't know who uh, tree removal Kilmaris tree service is. So no, let's not do that. But you, I mean, if you have your own YouTube channel, you obviously you could check one of your old videos and insert the video ID up here. I will not advertise for one of your competitors. If you have a competitor, again, language, English, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm done now, I don't have a logo because this is a random example. So I'm just clicking generate. It is saying you will not generate six number of pages to want to proceed. Yes, I do. So there is a uh, so now it's uh, now it's generating. So there is a limit that you need to know. You can maximum generate twenty five articles in twenty five service pages service pages at one time, and it's an arbitrary limit that we inserted because of the limits of the Open AI API. So if we insert. If, I, if, if we allow you to generate, let's say, up to 50 pages, it will enhance the risk of uh, OpenAI API failure. So we have arbitrarily limited to 25 and 25. So let me just click pause and let me return to this build when it's done. All right, so it seems now that is done. So uh, you can see that it says Atlantic Tree Service and six pages, and I can click the preview button up here. <coughs> and I can see that now uh, the um, website is, has been generated and it has generated and it has used the AI images. So what I can do is I can now choose to upload it to a domain that I added to YAX using FTP or SFTP or I can upload it to a cloud site. So let me upload it to Linode so we can enjoy the actual results. Uh, Atlanta Tree Service. Let me name the bucket Atlanta Tree Service. Good. Let's hope it's not taken. It was not taken, so I'll click the upload button. So what happens now is that the system will now finalize all of the URLs and all of the information and upload, compile it into a website and upload it to, in this case, the Linode Cloud. <coughs> And once it's done, the uh, link will be shown down here. So you can now see that uh, it's done. Atlanta Tree Service. And uh, <laughs> they look a little bit strange. They look like some, you know, a little bit alien, these. But it's, it's generated by AI. And you can see that it's uh, all of the information is done. And here are the interlinking that I added in the beginning. And you can click here, Affordable Atlanta, Atlanta Tree Removal. And, you know, and it's it's now it's actually, yeah, it's done. So I can click the news section and you see the news articles that it has uh, created. And um, it's, I mean, if you know what you're doing and if you have the keywords in advance and you have, yeah, and you know what you're doing, you can actually generate an AI website in less than five minutes or in less than three minutes actually. So um, this video will be probably approximately 14 minutes, and that includes my explanation of what I'm doing. So what I suggest that you do is that you also find, you know, a you find a, a web uh, oh sorry a YouTube video that is that is. Um, related to your keyword and also I suggest that you embed a Google Maps also. I know that it's a ra ranking signal for local SEO. I did not introduce any outgoing links in this website because I mean, I don't have a website or I don't know anyone in Atlanta that's doing tree service. This is purely strictly an example. But if I did want to, if I did want to add an outgoing link, I could also, uh, I sorry, I could always go into the um, to the CMS content management system in my uploads. And yo, this is Lino, this is my Atlanta tree service. I could click on this guy here and I could from the homepage copy some text. No, no, no. Atlanta tree service. Click this link here. HTTPS Atlanta tree service 
atlantsyserviceradio.com. OK. If I had a website called Atlantis Series Service, right? So if I had this website, I would could do it like this. I could click save and upload. And in that case, the uh, the link would then be inserted. I can just show you how it looks. I can always remove it after. Um, so what's happening now is that the, uh, the system will now regenerate the home page and insert this outgoing link <coughs> in the cloud, in the finished cloud side. So you might not know that uh, you have this option that you can click on my uploads and then click on the green button, which opens the, uh, the CMS. And then it will actually regenerate the website, the cloud site, and uh, re-upload it to the cloud with your changes implemented. So it's a nice and nifty little feature that we added, or not little. Uh, it, it's a, a very big feature actually that you can actually edit everything. So, um, yeah. So this was the uh, end of the presentation of the uh, AI websites.